Uh, my name is Ruth Hazel. Um, I also go by the name Fanny von Beaverhausen, um, which is kind of a, an alter ego thing that's become something else. So a lot of people locally know me as Fanny. Um, my work here, I'm showing quite a lot of illustration um, style drawings. Um, for me, uh, 2D work is often a lead on to installation and sculpture work. Um, so it's sort of kind of out of my comfort zone to do this, but I've really enjoyed it. Um, these ser this series are all kind of minimal dreamscapes. Um, I have one which is up at the Basel Hospital at the moment, um, which is done through Southend University. Um, and then I also have a few sculptures here, um, which made out of cement. Um, I quite like to mix materials as well. Um, so there's crochet and cement because this sort of shouldn't really work. Um, I just try and build them together. I'm Grace Elizabeth and this is my work. Um, I work mostly in acrylics and on sort of recycled wooden board. I don't tend to use canvas that much just because I prefer it to have a more like organic look. Um, my main inspirations are sort of like fantasy styles. I like comic books. I really like tattoo art. Um, I love animals and sort of mythology. Just all sort of like living things and stuff like that. I really like female form and all things like that. Hello, my name is uh, James. Uh, I'm a painter, uh, originally from Newcastle, in the northeast of England. Uh, but I've been living and working in London now for about ten years. Um, the work behind me, uh, I guess, is representative of what I do. Um, my paintings, um, it's fairly, I can explain it in simple terms, my paintings are about painting. Um, it may sound like a cliche, but I don't have any uh, subject matter, um, they have no meaning um, other than what they are, which are paintings on the surface. Um, my work is continually, I hope, moving, moving forward or changing. Um, I believe in being my own iconoclast. Um, by that I mean the paintings, if I was to take them home today, by next week these canvases might have been either cut up and recycled into new work or simply painted over. Um, that's not to say I'm not precious about my work, um, I do value my work, but um, I do see it as a, as a um, process that doesn't stop. Well, I'm Becky Walker and this is what I've done for this exhibition. At the moment we're dealing with structures and we're talking about structures in terms of the social sciences. These are things that affect our everyday lives. We're talking structures from the grand scheme of things from the legal system, education system, everything you can think of is some sort of structure. And we live our lives with this conflict between our personal agency working within these structures. Now, some of these structures, like I say, are huge, grand scale, but it comes right down to personal structure. And it really is finding your own path through this structure and making it work around you, or finding your way out of it. I'm Tanya Douglas, I'm studying at South Essex University, I'm in my first year. These works are a response to my brief for my first semester, um, relating to the experience of an iconic moment, and that's how I ended up with these. When I experienced a crowd myself, came back, recreated it. Um, I'm very process driven, everything has to go through a set process, and that's how I end up with the end product. My influences more come from my environment and any local artists that I come across. I don't necessarily get to see a lot of exhibitions or anything like that. Um, I've been making more of an effort to go to them. This was highly influenced by uh, Jackson Pollock and those sort of things. What I'm doing now at the moment is highly influenced by surrealism. 
Hi, my name is Dean, uh, Dean McCarthy. Um, I do fine art prints and fine art works, uh, drawings and paintings, and I uh, edit them into uh, small graphic detailed uh, pictures from um, pixelations from pictures like this to large pictures like this on the wall. And then I um, edit them and uh, reproduce them into canvases as well. A lot of them start off uh, as um, either um, drawn pictures on A4 pieces of paper or smaller and I put colour on them in detail uh, through pens or photographs and then they're produced into larger prints and uh, dry mounted onto uh, canvases or, or nice and uh, expensive frames. <laughs>